Let me just tell you about breaking information that we're just getting from the electoral, well, the former electoral commissioner, I must say. It's a press release that she's just put together. I'm going to read through to you what exactly she's saying. She says that, I have been truly overwhelmed by the hundreds of calls, prayers, and messages from all over the country and the international community expressing shock and disappointment at the recommendation of the committee set up by the Chief Justice to the President of the Republic, His Excellency Nanado Dankwe Kufado, to remove me from, I beg your pardon, to remove me from office as a chairperson of the Electoral Commission. I wish to acknowledge all the concerns and to express my deep appreciation to all of you for the show of support. With the heartbreaking news of the sudden demise of our former Vice President, His Excel Excellency Kwesi Bekwe, Mr. Arthur, I will at this time withhold my response to the President's decision while we commiserate with his family and pray for the peaceful per repose of his soul. At this sad time as a country, we are unified in our grief, respect, and appreciation for this great man of our land and someone I have deep respect and admiration for. Despite all the attacks, the character assassinations, the falsehoods, the curses, and the relentless plots and threats against my family and I over the past three years of my service as the chair of the Electoral Commission, I chose to remain silent and focused on delivering on my constitutional mandate to the best of my ability. She goes on to say that indeed the records show that I presided, and when I say I, you know because this re uh, release is from her, that indeed the records show that I presided over the 2015 district assembly election and the 2016 presidential and parliamentary elections to the best of my ability. I prefer to leave the standard and quality of those elections for Ghanaians history and post uh, posterity to judge. I still consider it a great honor and privilege to have been given the opportunity to serve my nation at very high levels during my period in public service. I still hold the view and belief that our country deserves an electoral commission that is truly independent, unbiased, free, fair, and firm, and can fight off all attempts to politically capture, manipulate, influence, and control it. This was always my cardinal objective and my approach to my work. In due time, there will be ample opportunity to fully address these matters once and for all. Thank you. God bless you all. Signed, Charlotte Osei. Uh, so that is the uh, recently removed chair of the Electoral Commission. She has just brought this press release. So obviously she is not responding. If at all she is, she isn't doing so in detail. What happened yesterday? She says she would do so after uh, we mourn former Vice President Kwesi Bakuya. Mr. Arthur, you're still watching The Pulse with me. I'll take a very quick break.